Hello everybody, my name is White and Pony. Welcome back to another Mumpa Macabre video and today I'll be reacting to Endless. This is a grimdark fanfic rating by The Lost Narrator. Actually, let me look in the thing. This was written by Magpie Pony, narrated by Lost, Fluttershy, voiced by Mary Medley, and Pinky, voiced by Pinky Rose. The summary is that Fluttershy is trapped in a place she doesn't recognize, trying to find her friends and figure out how she got there. She's being pursued by something, and all she knows is to be afraid of it. With what limited knowledge she has, she tries to piece together what happened to get her to this place and why she can't escape it. Anyways, we're going to uh, react to this lovely story, and I hope you are enjoying the Muffin Macabre. I hope you're enjoying the experiments going wrong. Anyway, let's react to this in three, two, one. Here we go. This was years ago, I think 2016, 2015. Here we go. Darkness was not the correct word to describe this place, but the only one that seemed appropriate. It wasn't warm or cold, wet or dry. It was as close to nothing as it could be. The mm. air was thicker with the haze darker than black that masked the sky somehow darker. Oh, there was a ground uneven and rough like gravel, yet her hooves still echoed with each step. Hello? Hello, Fletcher. She cried into nothing and received nothing in return. She could hear her own heartbeat, like an echo in a deep cavern, but with no visible walls to carry oh, the sound. Hear. She wasn't sure why, but she was compelled to keep moving, putting one hoof in front of the other, hoping that by wandering around this place, she could find some kind of sign or hint to where she could be. Can any pony hear me? She tried again, her voice echoing in all directions, growing louder rather than softer. Oh my god, as it's moments switching passed. between my headphones. She cried, curling up on the ground and covering her ears with her hooves, blocking out as much of the sound as she could. And without warning, the echo ceased and left her in an eerie silence. Right Fluttershy clamored to her hooves so and began to run, unsure which direction to take or how to escape this headphones. confusing place. She was too afraid to take flight here, worried that she would become even more confused and turn around or even slightly afraid that she might forget where the ground was. This place wasn't a place like she had ever seen, and she didn't trust it. It reminded her of something that might have come from his twisted imagination. Discord. That thought triggered a reaction in Fluttershy. Oh, she stopped running, Discord. panting softly for okay, breath. I was curious who was he was his. the reason she was here, you know. though she couldn't find it in her heart to blame him. He truly believed he had made the right choice when he... Fluttershy's thoughts were cut off. Her ears twitched when she oh, heard I the hear soft it. sound of scratching somewhere behind her. She started running again, this time sobbing as she did. She didn't know what was coming, but she knew it was important not to get caught. She ran from the sound and stopped, digging her hooves into the gravel in confusion when the sound came at her from a different direction. She recognized the feeling of dread and knew that she had faced whatever this was before. Faced it in her dreams, her nightmares. This time, however, it wasn't a nightmare, and not even Princess Luna herself could protect her from what was coming. He just wanted to keep his friend forever. He didn't mean to hurt me. Fluttershy pleaded into the darkness, but the scratching just got louder. Though she ran mm. as fast as she was able to, the sound still grew louder. It wasn't too long before her hooves began to ache, and she worried that they would fail her. As the little hope she clung to threatened to give out, Fluttershy saw a faint outline of an iron fence come into view. Something, anything would be a welcomed sight. As Fluttershy neared the fence, the scratching noises softened until they disappeared back into the darkness. She stuck her hoof out to touch the metal, but hesitated, sensing an unspoken danger here as well. Rather than take her chances, she avoided the metal and walked along the side of it instead. As she walked, what she noted the deterioration of the metal and the bent and misshapen spires. 
Their decay gave Fluttershy the chills. So Fluttershy it looked unnatural kind of in comparison to the other worn fences she had seen in her lifetime. Is that what it is? Eventually, like stuck in the, the metal bullying? fence had is faded and crumbled, leaving endless? nothing but unforgiving ground where it once stood. Fluttershy was so preoccupied with the actual fence that she only now Just discovered what lay beyond it. it. There were little patches of grass, trees, and shrubs that blended faintly in the darkness that surrounded it. Fluttershy strained her eyes when she caught sight of what she believed was a welcomed sight. Angel? Angel, is that you? She oh, called, angel. racing towards her long-eared companion. Oh, when she reached him, however, she discovered he was nothing more than a mere mound of dust, so perfectly sculpted to look like her dear pet. What? Oh, Angel. I... I've missed you so much. She reached out a hoof to touch him, it's but he disintegrated into dust. Yeah. <laughs> Fluttershy sobbed. Oh, no. The memory of him tugged at the back of her mind, and she reached down to the unforgiving soil to re-sculpt him from the dust. Oh, my God. He had this ears so like this. No, maybe they were longer. No, his nose was different. This isn't right. I can't remember. It's been so long, I can't. Fluttershy broke into sobs again, and the dust that remained blew itself into nothing. She stayed curled on the ground in her tears, until she heard the scratching again. This time, though, she didn't care. She wanted it to find her. She wanted this endless wandering to finally stop. What are you doing? Get up! Get out of here! Fluttershy's head snapped up at the sound and she held her breath. Oh gosh, that voice, no matter how much time had passed, it was still as crisp and as clear as if it were yesterday. It captured her rasp perfectly and the inflection of impatience that Rainbow always had in her tone. Yes, silly, don't let the monster get you. Another familiar sound, this one so delightfully out of place with its bubbly nature. Pinky. Then again, Pinky's optimism was typically out of place to begin with. Fluttershy raced towards the sound of their voices. Pinky, Rainbow, where are you? Please, please say something else. Fluttershy, get out! Not until I find you. We're not lost, silly. You know exactly where we are. We're right where you left us, all of us. Fluttershy disregarded what was being said. Hmm. She just wanted to find them. I've been looking for you all for so long. It feels like ages. She ignored the pain throbbing of her hooves to pursue her dearest friends, and through the haze, she could at last see their silhouettes. They were together, and they looked like they were ready to embrace her again. This time, her tears fell in gratitude, and no amount of pain could keep her from her friends. At long last, guess. she reached them. She still? didn't hesitate throwing her hooves around Rainbow to hold her close. Oh, Rainbow, Rainbow, I missed you. She stopped, realizing the object she held now was cold and hard. She jerked herself away from it it's in wrong, confusion. She had been hugging a single flat stone that was sticking up unnaturally from the ground. There were five stones just like it in the place of all of her friends. No. No, please. I've waited so long to see you. I can't lose you all again. <laughs> Fluttershy curled up on the ground next to her friends and revisited each painful memory. She hadn't noticed the scratching sounds growing closer until it was too late to run. Fluttershy felt a chill run up her spine and her eyes flew open in the face of a monster that had been pursuing her all this time. It was herself, or at least oh. another vision of herself. This Fluttershy, however, had no eyes. Only two great balls of darkness where eyes had once been. <coughs> Fluttershy screamed and jumped back to her hooves in a panic. The dark Fluttershy only smiled and offered out her hoof where a sharp, bloody knife rested. It didn't take long for her to start running again, but the pain in her hooves compelled her to fly. Red eyes? The dark mist they grew are. thicker as she climbed into the air, 
her wings struggling to keep her airborne, her chest constricted, and she gasped, unable to suck in a breath from the weight of the mist around her. Fluttershy strained her wing muscles to push higher and higher until at last she broke free from the surface of the dark water. The dark Fluttershy was not far behind, pushing Fluttershy's head back under the water, trying to force the life out of her again. Fluttershy screamed and thrashed in the water, bucking at her twin until she broke free at last, gasping and shaking as she dragged herself back onto solid ground. The mist began to change again. This time when it cleared, it revealed an entire forest of trees. Fluttershy looked over her shoulder at her dark twin, who flew towards her still clutching the knife. She took flight again and headed into the trees, hoping to lose her. Each tree she flew past grew more twisted, more mangled in the thick rope-like vines. She looked back to where the other Fluttershy had gone and flew herself straight into a vine that pulled at her neck. She threw her hooves up and tried to pull it away, once again gasping for air, and noticed the vine was being tugged on the other end by the Dark Fluttershy. Uh -oh. It's the only way! Dark Fluttershy called out. I never wanted this! I never wanted to be separated from my friends. Don't you understand, Discord? I don't love you. I want to die. Fluttershy cried, unable to beg for her life, but desperately trying to cling to it. Dark Fluttershy approached her, the rope still digging into her neck with the blade drawn. It's the only way I can see them again. Fluttershy thrashed, her vision becoming hazy. You never even asked me what I wanted all those years ago. I can't take it anymore. Fluttershy's eyes what? were stained with tears. She couldn't breathe, but was somehow still thrashing as lively as ever. Magic can't protect me if I do it myself. It can't keep me here if my heart stops beating. Fluttershy closed her eyes and braced herself, knowing what was coming next. Her eyes lowered. She lowered her ears and waited. When the blade dug into her chest, she threw open her eyes and screamed. What happened? Once again, what? she was on the ground. Nothing visible but the dark haze that cloaked the even darker sky. She called out, feeling an unnerving sense of dread, even though she didn't know why. That's when she heard the scratching. Oh, is it an endless, it's an endless loop, isn't it? That's what it is, it's an endless loop. It just happens every time. If she gets killed, she starts over again. That's why it's called Endless. Good job, Mary. Good job, Pinky Rose. I haven't heard about heard of Pinky Rose for a long time. Hey, Mentley still is around. Oh, wow. And we already reacted to the friendship test, guys. And I haven't reacted to this yet. Hey, guys, let me know in the comments below if you want me to react to the Tale of the Lost Narrator. I know it's a series, and it would be awesome to watch it, if you like, because it's a lost character. Anyways, so, yeah. So, yeah. Let me, uh, say, uh, thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. Be sure to comment down below your thoughts and suggestions. And I hope you guys are enjoying this month of Macabre. We really put in a lot of work of making an Apple Sleep Experiment, and another Apple Sleep Experiment of the reactions, that is. So, this is the story Endless. It was written by Mag. You can check it out. This was read by the Lost Narrated, her channel will be in the description below and the original video will be in the description below. Uh, be sure to check out my awesome editor Mechanical Nightmare Fox as well. He puts in a lot of time and effort to edit, edit these videos for me. Uh, but if I'm correct I think another Apple Sleep Experiment Part 2 is coming out this Thursday so be sure to tune in for that and thank you everybody so much for watching and as always we will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye! I wonder if I'm in an endless loop of cycle where I just get up and record every day. I wonder. Uh...